Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to show you guys all the Criterions I have in my collection. And also I'm going to give out some recommendations because I know Barnes & Noble, they're having their sale. And people are asking, hey, what, what film do you guys recommend? And I am going to recommend some films that I have in my collection. So let's get started. First off, we have is Seven Samurai. This is the first Criterion. I ever purchased uh, classic I would say this is a must-have because there's gonna be plenty of Kurosawa films but this film to me uh, covers basically every genre that Kurosawa covers especially like the samurai theme the other Kurosawa film that I recommend would probably be Ikiru um, which is not a samurai theme but for all the samurai movies, Sim Samurai is a must have. Uh, we got The Lady Vanishes. This is a great Hitchcock film. Uh, this one I haven't seen yet. Actually, I have not seen any of the Fellini films. Uh, the 400 Blows. This is a great French New Wave film. Um, out of all the French New Waves, this is the one that I recommend the most because uh, I can actually relate to this character, but it might be different for you guys, so just uh, make sure that it's just my opinion. Um, I have not seen this one yet. Seven Seal. Uh, this is an Ingmar Bergman film. There's a lot of Ingmar Bergman films on Criterion. The Seven Seal seems to be the one that everybody wants. Um, it might personal opinion, my favorite one would probably be Persona, which is down here, and Fanny and Alexander, which would be the other Ingmar Bergman film that I would recommend. Next up we have is uh, The Silence of the Lambs. To me, this is not a must-have, I mean, everyone's seen this film, but the transfer looks great. Um, Sid and Nancy. This is a really good movie. I'm not sure if it's like a must have. I am low. I have not seen this one yet. Sorry guys, I haven't seen a lot of them. Uh, Picnic at Hanging Rock. This is a good film. It comes with a book, which is really nice. Uh, it's about these uh, girls. They're at an all girls school and for some reason they disappear and all the other characters are really curious about what happened to their um, what happened to the accidents uh, it's a pretty interesting film it's directed by Peter Weir uh, is it like a must have? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say um, next up we have is Fritz Lang M this is a must have in my opinion uh, it's from 19... 31 Yeah, this, this is a must have in my opinion. I think this was the second Criterion I ever purchased But um, It's a classic uh, Wages of Fear More of the Flies, this is a uh, another classic I wouldn't say it's a must-have because it's not a film that I could rewatch over and over again. Uh, we got the red shoes. Now this this film, if you enjoy this film, I definitely recommend Black Narcissus. I think it's by the same director. Let's see, it's from the same director. So if you like the red shoes or Black Narcissus. Um, they both go hand in hand. They're really good films. Um, next up we have is Yojimbo and Sanjuro. Uh, really good samurai films. If you like westerns, I highly recommend them. But like I said, if you want to, if I had to recommend one samurai film, it would be Seven Samurai. So um, these are really good films. But if I had to pick one, it would be Seven Samurai. Uh, next up we have is The Third Nine Steps. This is a decent Hitchcock film, in my opinion. Arm Sonata, uh, Ingmar Bourbon. 
Passion Dune of Arc. Orpheus. Got Last Tentation of Christ. Uh, Brief Encounter. Uh, in my opinion, I didn't really enjoy this movie. Aventura. Do the right thing. In my opinion, this is a must have, even though I haven't even watched this copy. Playtime. Rafifi. If you like heist movies, this is the one that I would recommend. Um, it is a foreign film, but it's a really good film. Uh, Sullivan's Travels. Now, if you like rom coms, uh, this is one that I would recommend. I would also recommend It Happened One Night. Which is just down here. So I recommend this one also. And Palm Beach Story. Over here. Palm Beach Story. But if I had to recommend one of them out of the three, um I would recommend it happened one night, mainly because of the actors. I mean, you got Clark Gable, so. But this is a great film, in my opinion. Uh, next up, we have is Notorious. This is my favorite Hitchcock film, so no matter what, I'm gonna recommend it. Next up, we have is Rashomon. Uh, this is. A samurai theme but it's not really a samurai movie so I would say this is a really good film to watch but um, this film like it's kind of like Ikiru in my opinion because it has something to do with uh, human values and if I had to recommend one it would be Ikiru so uh, Rashomon is a really good film but I, out of the Kurosawa films, I only recommend Samurai and Ikiru. Like, those are the must-haves. Uh, next up we have is Mouth Strawberries. This is the only Ingmar Bergman film that I haven't seen in my collection. Uh, this is Fellini in half. Solaris, I haven't seen. Down by Law. This is a decent film. I mean, I wouldn't say, like, this is a must-have, but it's a... Uh, it's a pretty good film. Life and Death of Colonel Blimp. Also the same director of Black Narcissus and The Red Shoes. Uh, we got Straw Dogs. Uh, Tokyo Story. Um, I do highly recommend Tokyo Story. Um, we also have Late Spring. This is the one I recommend. Um, we got Throne of Blood. Again, this is another samurai theme film with uh, Shakespeare. I just recommend Seven Samurai. Uh, the Rules of the Game, which I have not seen yet. Daniel Alexander, I recommend that one. Uh, Jules and Jim. This is another French New Wave film that I do like, but like I said, 400 Blows is the one that I relate to the most. So this is the one I recommend. Kagemusha, another Kurosawa, again, Sam Samurai. This is a great documentary on basketball, but even if you don't enjoy basketball, this is a great documentary on, um, on just life itself, on these uh, struggling kids just trying to uh, succeed. So it's a really good documentary. Um, yeah, I would recommend this one. This is like a must-have for documentaries. The Samurai. This one's just okay. Um, out of the foreign films, that's not Kurosawa. This is the one I recommend the most, Bicycle Thieves. Like, hey, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it means hate in French. Um, now we got Billy Wilder, Ace in the Hole. This is a, if you're a Billy Wilder fan, Sure, I highly recommend it. 
um, this one, and some like it hot, which is right here. So, you know, for me, I'm a huge Billy Wilder fan, so it's a must have regardless. Ivan's Childhood, I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, Breathless, another French New Wave film. Out of the three Terrence Malick films I have, uh, the one I recommend are Days of Heaven and The Thin Red Line. Uh, some people might not like The Thin Red Line because it's way too slow, but you know, with Terrence Malick, they're all beautiful looking pictures. And, you know, worst case scenario, you got, you know, really good cinematography. Um, but those are the two that I recommend the most. Uh, the Last Emperor. The Ice Storm. This is like another version of American Beauty. But some people won't enjoy it as much because it's like a lot slower. You got An Autumn Afternoon. My Dinner with Andre. Potion. Now, out of the Polanski films, I recommend uh, Rosemary's Baby. Rosemary's Baby right here. This is the one I recommend out of the Polanski films. Next up we have is Wings of Desire. This is a Vin Vendors film. Uh, the one I recommend is Paris, Texas. It's just a really good film. They're both really good films, but in my opinion, Paris, Texas is the one that I really enjoy. Uh, I, for some reason, I love road trip movies. Make Way for Tomorrow is another one I recommend. If you like movies like um, The Best Years of Our Lives or uh, It's a Wonderful Life, any type of family drama, I highly recommend watching Make Way for Tomorrow. Bigger Than Life, I actually did not enjoy this movie. It's probably my least favorite criterion. Uh, this one I have not seen yet. Stagecoach. Really good John Ford Western. Um, out of the Westerns, the one I recommend the most is Red River, directed by Howard Hawks. And I'm a huge Howard Hawks fan, but I feel like John Wayne, even, this is the one to get. And it comes with a book. Uh, next up, we have Scrum, another documentary. Pass the Glory, really good Stanley Kubrick film. Actually, out of all the Stanley Kubrick films, this is the one I recommend. And it is like, it's probably my favorite Stanley Kubrick film, so um, it's a good World War I movie. Uh, the Night of the Hunter, really good film noir. It stars Robert Mitchum. If you're a Robert Mitchum fan, I highly recommend it. And I believe this only film that he directed, yep. Charles uh, Lofton, sorry, um, from 1955. Um, I heard this one actually tanked in the box office, so, but this is a classic. Modern Times, this is the one I recommend out of all the Chaplin films. It's uh, flat out hilarious. Broadcast News, this is a film that I recommend. It's directed by James L. Brooks. Sweet Smell of Success, Got The Great Dictator, Kiss Me Deadly. Now, for in my opinion, this is a film that I didn't really care for, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> Next up we have is The Music Room. The Killing, another great Stanley Kubrick film. Secret Sunshine. Phantom Carriage. 12 Angry Men. This is one that a lot of people have. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's just, uh, it's one of those movies. El De Jour. Anatomy of a Murder. Uh, this one's okay. I mean, it's not my favorite, but it has uh, James Stewart. 
uh, The Gold Rush. This is also like a really good Chaplin film. If you like Modern Times, I highly recommend checking this one out. Uh, Rosemary Baby, I already talked about that one. On the Waterfront, this is a must-have if you're a Marlon Brando fan. Uh, this is just... This is Elliot Kazan's masterpiece in my opinion. And this is probably Marlon Brando's best performance, so this is a must-have. Man Escaped. Monsieur Verdu. Uh, this one, I wouldn't say it's a must-have. It's a Chaplin talkie. Taki film. Yep. So I don't recommend it. I mean, I don't. I don't think it's bad, but you know, there's other, there's better Chaplin films out there. Marqueta Lazarova. Safety last. If you if you really like Chaplin and you want something new, I highly recommend Harold Lloyd. This is the one to get. Joa, Charlotte, To Be or Not To Be, I Married a Witch, The Uninvited, like these two movies, they're like one of the cheaper criterions, I believe, um, they're just easy, you know, they're not like, they're not masterpieces, but they're just easy watch, you know. City Lights. This is personally my favorite Chaplin film, but the one I recommend is Modern Times because uh, most people like Chaplin for comedy. But if you like, if you want to see Chaplin for romance and drama, I recommend City Lights. Uh, next up, we have is Nashville Thief. This is a pretty good Michael Mann movie. If you like Heat, I highly recommend this one. Uh, blue is the warmest color. Tess. We talked about that one. We talked about that one. Seriously, guys, Red River. It's just a great western. Um, Breaking the Waves. Now, Breaking the Waves. If you really enjoy Igmar Bergman, uh, I highly recommend Breaking the Waves. Um, Umbrellas of Cherbourg. I haven't seen this copy yet, but I really enjoy this movie. This is like my one of my favorite musicals. Um, the whole film is actually sung, and it stars Catherine Deneuve. Yeah, it's just a fantastic film, and it's really colorful. Another western I recommend is My Darling Clementine. By John Ford, if you like Stagecoach, another John Ford movie that I recommend. Tootsie Vita. We talked about the one. Tootsie, this is another must have in my opinion. It's on Netflix. Hilarious movie. Alright. Already talked about Palm Beach Story. If you really enjoy the other two rom coms that I recommended, um, I recommend that one. Limelight, another Chaplin talkie. Uh, Mulholland Drive. This is probably my favorite David Lynch movie. The Kid. If you like Chaplin, this is just a fantastic movie. The only problem is it's really short. It's 53 minutes. But it's from uh, like 100 years ago. It's just a fantastic movie. The Kid has a great performance. Uh, the Graduate, it's a classic. Only Angels Have Wings. If you're a Cary Grant fan, uh, this is a film that I highly recommend. It also has, um, what's your name? Rita Hayworth. I think it's her debut. No, not debut. Uh, breakout role. But yeah, if you like Howard Hawks and Cary Grant, I highly recommend this one. In a Lonely Place, Humphrey Bogart, classic. Uh, the Player, I really enjoyed this one. 
Tim Robbins. This is directed by the same guy who did Nashville, Robert Altman. Pan's Labyrinth, another good film. Boyhood. So if you guys want criterions that are very easy to watch, I highly recommend Boyhood. And I also recommend Days and Confused. Any Richard Linklater films, they're very easy to watch. Um, I've already watched this like several times already. So I highly recommend Boyhood. Next up we have his Asphalt Jungle, another good film noir. His Girl Friday, if you like uh, Philadelphia Story, I recommend this one. Uh, the Before Trilogy, also directed by Richard Linklater. It's really well written. Uh, Ghost World, another well written film. Mary Linden, Kubrick, Philadelphia Story. Age of Innocence, we got Scorsese, uh, Some Like It Hot, this is a classic, this is like a must-have, Billy Wilder film. If you like uh, Orson Welles, I recommend Magnificent Ambersons, In the Heat of the Night. Face in the Crowd, so that is it you guys. This is my entire Criterion collection, 128 films total. You guys won't have to listen to my opinions, but those are the Criterions I recommend. Seven Samurai, that's like the must-have. Uh, the 400 Blows, we got uh, Notorious, if you want really good Hitchcock. Um, if you want Terrence Malick, Days of Heaven, The Thin Red Line. Uh, Bicycle Thieves, that's another really good one. Um, if you really like foreign films, um, if you want Chaplin, you, uh, Modern Times is the one that I recommend, even though City Lights is my favorite one. Um, Vin Vendors, Paris, Texas is the one that I recommend. I mean, uh, Documentary, Hoop Dreams is the one to go. Um, even though you're not, if you don't enjoy basketball, that's a film that I, I, I highly recommend. Uh, Red River is my favorite western. That's the one I recommend. Uh, another must-have is Twelve Angry Men. Most of you guys have that in your collection. Uh, Tootsie is another classic. Um, On the Waterfront. I mean, you guys seen it. You know, Night of the Hunter. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching, you guys. If you guys have any questions, just let me know down below, and I'll help you guys out. Um, but so far, those are the movies that I recommend. Uh, this upcoming sale, I actually picked up five movies, so that will be in my next update. And like I always say, stay safe. And thank you for watching, guys. Take care.